Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you how to create a displacement mapped material in V-Ray for 3D Studio Max. We'll also be taking a quick look at how you can optimize that displacement in order to render faster. So let's get started. I have here a very simple scene setup. It's a one light shining on a sphere. It's very similar to the lighting setup that we used last week. What we're going to do is create the material for this sphere. I'm going to go ahead and close that render. So let's grab this material, copy it over to the sphere, and we're going to set it to an ordinary V-Ray material. Click OK. Now what we want to do is apply a diffuse map and a displacement map to this material. So I'm going to click on my diffuse swatch, bitmap, click OK. And I have here a brick material from the 3D Total Texture Library. And I'm going to click OK. And that's going to open up that brick map for me. So I'm going to go up one level and then scroll down. I'm also going to give this material a little bit of reflectivity just to make it look like the paint on that brick is kind of reflective. I want this to be a Fresnel reflection and I'll go ahead and turn on interpolation for good measure. So I'm going to scroll down past translucency and refraction to the maps. And just a little bit further down here is the displace map. And just like a normal standard material, I'm going to click on None, select Bitmap, and then I'm going to click OK, select that brick bump map that I have, and open that. Now you'll notice that the displacement is pretty extreme right away, so we're going to turn it down to um, 25, which is a little bit more appropriate for the size of this scene. Why don't we go ahead and take a render and see what we've got. So already, with minimal effort, we've got a great displacement result. Let's try a few more experiments just to really get a feel for how displacement works in V-Ray. I'm going to open up my Render Settings panel with the F10 hotkey. And under Settings, you'll find the V-Ray Default Displacement Settings right here. It's the second rollout. Now what we want to do here is manipulate these parameters so that V-Ray is not calculating displacement that we don't need. Now if you've already seen my Displacement Monday movie, these parameters should be familiar to you. The Subdivisions Spinner will tell the renderer how many subdivisions to take of this material in order to arrive at the edge length that you specified. Now the default maximum subdivisions is 256, and you actually don't need to manipulate this parameter unless you really have to. For most cases, for most cases you only need to manipulate the edge length. The default is 4 pixels. Let's see what happens when we turn this up to 8. Now this render took 104 seconds. Let's see how long it takes when we double our edge length. Now this render only took 88 seconds to prepare. Now keep in mind we're doing a few other things here like Fresnel reflections and global illumination. And those are some areas that could use some tightening too. But we did manage to save almost 20 seconds just by altering some of the displacement parameters. Let's do one more test before we finish up here. I'm going to cut my render in half using the area. And what I'm going to do is render this section with a much higher value. I'm going to set the edge length from 8 pixels to just 1. And we're going to see the difference between rendering with 8 pixel edge length and 1 pixel edge length. Let's take that render. Now in this case we only rendered half of the frame and that took 80 seconds. So the impact on our render times was pretty substantial. Let's take a close look at these two renders and we can see the difference between 8 pixel edge length and 1 pixel edge length. The 8 pixel edge length is a little bit smoother. We're relying on the diffuse map in order to provide us with the detail. But if you look on the other side, we're actually using both maps in order to get this really strong chiseled brick detail. An edge length of 1 pixel is a very high detailed setting. If this object was not going to be so important in the scene, we could very easily get away with the 8 pixel edge length, and it wouldn't make a huge difference to the render as a whole. So in the usual V-Ray style, it's very easy to create these beautiful displacement effects. However, understanding the more intricate features of the renderer is just as important in V-Ray as it is in Mental Ray or the Scanline renderer, because it can save you so much time. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. 
You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.